tour this hour, I thought I was on track just before the sermon up at Kelshaw. But something happened. And I apologize. To be in the lead. Let's pray. Father, we love you, we adore you, we acknowledge that you are God. Father, we acknowledge your peace that your presence gives to us. We acknowledge, O oh Lord God, the wonder of your love. We acknowledge that there is none like you. And Father, when we are here in your presence with each other, there is no better place, O oh Lord God, to be at this particular point in time. So Lord God, as even as we have come to worship you, Father, may we worship you in spirit and in truth. We may acknowledge, O oh Lord God, your presence. We may acknowledge, O oh Lord God, that when we are together, something good is going to happen. Continue, O oh Lord God, to be with us. We thank you for each other. We thank you for spared life. We thank you, Lord God, for your understanding. We thank you for your spirit of love and grace and mercy and peace. Have your own way with us, O oh Lord God, and have your own way in us. Move in a very special way among us this morning the first Sunday in the new year. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. The blessings of God the Father and the Son of Jesus Christ be with you all. I want to invite you to stand as we acknowledge that we serve a God who reigns forever. He is not a part-time God. God is on the job full-time. We are going to read responsibly Psalm 45. This verse 1 and 2 and verses 6 to 9. My heart overflows with a godly theme. I have dressed my verses to the king. My tongue is like the pen of a red scribe. You are the most handsome of men. Great is his fall upon your lips. Therefore, God has blessed you forever. Your throne, O oh God, endures forever and ever. Your royal scepter is a scepter of equity. You love righteousness and hate wickedness. From ivory palaces, stringed instruments make you glad. The lords of kings are among your ladies of honor. At your right hand stands the queen of all of us. Friends, I want us for the first Sunday of the church year. If you can sing, let earth and heaven agree. In Charles and men be joined to celebrate with me the Savior of mankind. And who's that Savior? His name is who? Jesus. Amen.
because of the saving blood of your son, Jesus Christ. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. And so, Lord God, we, we celebrate your gracious act of love. You didn't have to send him, but you did. And Father God, we all accept what you have done. And accept the precious lamb, your son Jesus Christ. So that, O oh Lord God, no matter how great our sin is, our sins are forgiven. another day you did not have to but you did you have allowed us to gather on another Lord's day to share together in this act of worship and we are happy because you have seen it fit for Lord's to experience what it is like to celebrate the beginning of another church year we acknowledge that it is you who call this communion we call the Methodist Church into being for a particular purpose to spread scriptural holiness throughout the land and to transform the nation. Father, you alone know how you need us to shine. You need us to be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. In this particular case, at this particular point in time, and so Lord God may we stand up and be counted for you let us take a pray may our worship of you transform us O Lord God and may our time together be a time when you reveal yourself to us in a very special way in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ When we are together, something good is going to happen. Friends, we have fallen short. We have all sinned and have fallen short of the glory of God. That's what Paul says. Isaiah says, but it's a different way. We all, like sheep, have gone astray. We have gone to our own way. But hear what Jesus, hear what Isaiah says on behalf of God. Come, let us reason together, says the Lord. Do your sins be as tired? I wash them away and you become pure. Let us in silence confess our sins to God and pray for his forgiveness. Remember that if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not In your mercy, let us make a confession together. O God, O Father, you call us in Christ to be your special people in this world, and you give us your word to be a lamp for our feet and a light for our heart. But we have failed to try choosing the easy way instead of right way. Yeah. <laughs> 
there is good news for us. Christ Jesus came into the world to set us free from our sins. He, who the Son of God has set, is free indeed. Sisters and brothers, we see this word of grace. Your sins are God. We continue to celebrate the fact that we are at the beginning of a new church year. We acknowledge that there are a number of persons from among us who didn't make it into the new church year. And that we are alive to see each other's face, glory and praise to Jesus give for his redeeming grace.
remind us that you're a God of love. That your love is from everlasting to everlasting. And your mercy endures Amen. Amen. We did that. You may be seated, my dear friends, that we invite the children just to come forward for a blessing as they proceed to their Sunday school.
reading is taken from Song of Solomon 2, 8 to 13. The voice of my beloved, look, he comes, leaping upon the mountains, bounding over the hills. My beloved is like a gazelle, or a young star. Look, there he stands behind all wall, gazing in at the windows, looking through the lattice. My beloved speaks and says to me, Arise, my love, my fair one, and come away. For now the winter is past, the rain is over and gone. The flowers appear on the earth, the time of singing has come, and the voice of the turtle dove is heard in our land. The fig tree puts forth its face, and the vines are in blossom. They give forth fragrance, Arise, my love, my fair one, and come away. This is the word of the Lord. Son and speak the Lord. Lord. The epistle reading is taken from James chapter 1, verse 17. Every every generous act of giving with every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. In fulfillment of his own purpose, he gave us birth by the word of truth, so that we would become a kind of first fruits of his creatures. You must understand this, my beloved, let everyone be quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to anger, for your anger does not produce God's righteousness. Therefore, rid yourselves of all sordidness and rank of wickedness, and welcome with meekness the implanted word that has the power to save your souls. But be doers of the word and not merely hearers who deceive themselves. For if any are hearers of the word and not doers, they are like those who look at themselves in a mirror. For they look at themselves and in going away immediately forget what they are like. But those, but those who look into the perfect law, the law of liberty, and persevere being not hearers who forget, but doers who, who act, they will be blessed in their doing. If any think they are religious and do not bridle their tongues, but deceive their hearts, their religion is worthless. Religion that is pure and undefiled before God, before God the Father, is this to care for orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself unstained by the word. This is the word of the Lord. I invite you to stand for the gospel reading as you be able. Mark chapter 7. Read from verse 1 to verse 8. Then verses 40 and 50. Then verse 21 to the verse 22. Glory to you, O God. Mark chapter 7, 1 to 8, 40 and 50, 21 to the 23. The tradition of the elders. Now when the Pharisees and some of the scribes who have come from Jerusalem gathered around him, they noticed that some of his disciples were eating with defiled hands, that is, without washing them. For the Pharisees and all the Jews 
Do not eat unless they thoroughly wash their hands. Thus observing the tradition of the elders. And they do not eat anything from the market unless they wash it. And there, oh, and there are also many other traditions that they observe. The washing of cups, cups, bronze kettles. So the Pharisees and the scribes ask him, Why do your disciples not live according to the tradition of the elders, but eat with defined hands? He said to them, Isaiah prophesied rightly about the hypocrites, as it is written. This people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me. Teaching human precepts as doctrines. You abandon the commandment of God and hold to human tradition. Verse 14. Then he called the crowd again and said to them, Listen to me, all of you, and understand. There is nothing outside a person that by going in can be fired, but the things that come out are what be fired. 21. For it is from within, from the heart, from the human heart, that evil intentions come. Fornication, theft, murder, adultery, avarice. Wickedness, deceit, licentiousness, envy, slander, pride, folly. All these evil things come from within and they defile persons. The gospel of Christ. Praise be to Christ our Lord. The sign. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah.
we will decide as a continuum reflection. Mark 7 and verse 14. Then he called the crowd again and said, Listen to me, all of you, and understand. There is nothing outside of this that by going in can defile, but the things that come out are what defile. Let us wish us to the world. Here we are again gathered together as we are in need of your grace and recognizing our need of your mercy. Speak to us, gracious God, and may we be willing to listen, take heed, and make the necessary changes so that we may be obedient to your word. So, be the words of my mouth and the meditation of all of our hearts be acceptable in your sight. O oh Lord, our oh God, our Redeemer, our friend. Amen. My dear friends, I want to greet you in the precious and wonderful name of our Lord and the Savior, Jesus Christ. It's certainly good to be sharing with you, my dear friends, and you have been teaching me, and I have been willing to learn. The new bishop of the South Caribbean district, Reverend Derek Richards, who you know very well. He was installed at an inspirational service. He sends his greetings to you. He also was able to preside at his first general purposes committee meeting. And he chaired the meeting quite well. Well, he delivered a stirring message which would have resonated with all who heard the message. I remember Reverend Edwards, when he saw so many persons from here, there, he asked who is in church or who was in church last Sunday. He said it seems as though the whole of the circuit, especially San Fernando and Kelshon, were in Barbados. Now, it was a tiny reminder of what we are called to be as members of the body of Christ. The called out ones. The ones who are to make a difference wherever we are. We are called to be true followers of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Indeed, we are according to Jesus, the salt of the earth and the light of the world. We have to be willing as disciples of Jesus to confront that which is false and superficial as Jesus was willing to do. And we get that example of what Jesus was willing to do as we look at the gospel passage appointed for this 15th Lord's Day after Pentecost. Particularly Mark chapter 7, 1 to 8, 14 to 15, and 21 to 23. The verses, my dear friends, they, they, it is a passage, it is a passage, where the evangelist, Mark, he gives an account about a controversy between Jesus and religious leaders. It appears to be a simple matter, but Jesus went to the heart of the matter. And I want us to focus especially on verses 14 and 15. Then he called the crowds again and said to them, Listen to me, all of you, and understand, there is nothing outside a person that by going in can be fired, but the things that come out, those things are what be fired. And so my friends, the, the reflection is based on that particular passage, and especially the passage that I've just quoted. And the theme, inside out, Christian. My friends, we're not talking about if you dress well. We're not talking about, my friends, if you can eat with a knife on floor. We're not talking about if you're eating a snap in your mouth, or if you're drinking juice, you're slurping it. What we are talking about, my dear friends, is what is in your heart. That's what we are talking about. You see, my friends, Jesus did not major in non-essentials. He went straight to the heart. So our persons will understand, my dear friends, 
what is real and what is really needed to follow him. The persons that follow Jesus, my dear friends, interestingly, were not the high Luther. There were a few of them. But in the majority of cases, there were those persons who other persons consider as nobody. The woman of the well. Nobody would even give a second look. As a matter of fact, my dear friends, the woman in the village would stay away from her and she would stay away from them. But yet, my dear friends, when she had an encounter with Jesus, it changed her whole life story. She was able to leave the daily water jar that she came to collect. In the middle of the day, in the hot burning sun, she left that and she ran and said, Listen, all this bad talking, but I want to say, I want to tell you something. Come and see the man who told me everything that I've ever done. And I suppose, you know, my dear friends, you know, we people have something else. You know? We didn't say, no gosh, but this man must be really transformed with human life. Many persons will be going and saying, let me go and see who man should catch up with this time. <laughs> but when the my dear friends, when you meet Jesus, it is a, it's an encounter that is unforgettable. Now, the Pharisees, get the Pharisees. The Pharisees use every opportunity to put every imaginable stumbling block and barrier in person's way. You see, they, as far as they believe, they believe that they had the kingdom, they had the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And they were able to say who goes in and who is not to go in. The Pharisees, they reminded persons of how special they the Pharisees were and how sinful and worthless <coughs> others were. And so, they were steeped in their tradition. Sometimes, my dear friends, the tradition started off well, but after a while, after a while, it went a little bit wild. Now, we're talking about the, the washing of hands. Now, it is proper to wash your hands before you have a meal. That is basic hygiene. But Jesus was saying, listen, <laughs> it's, not, it's not about the clean hands, you know. It's about the clean hands. So, the elders, the other elders, they worship and honor the Sabbath day, like if the Sabbath day was for us. Not even healing could be done on the Sabbath. Woman was healed, she was bent over for about 18 years. Jesus had compassion on healed her. The Pharisees and the elders were vexed. They say, six days somebody could come for healing. Why come on this Sabbath day? Jesus said, wait, wait. This lady has been ill for 18 years. And you will tell me that I must let her wait another day? He said, no man. He said the Sabbath was made for human beings and not human beings for the Sabbath. The simple task of plucking of corn so that our hunger could be satisfied was frowned upon. Why did your disciples do what is not lawful on the Sabbath day when they were hungry and eating? He said, because you know what he said? He said, because they're hungry. That is why they're plucking to eat. Because they're hungry, he said, did you not, have you not read? And when um, David was on the run for his life, and when he ran into the temple, the only thing that was there to be eaten was the bread of presence. He said, it was not lawful to be eaten, but that is what David ate. It was there. He was hungry. And so he, he ate it. Now they're eating without washing of hands. My friends, just to see again, what Jesus was really interested in. He was interested not so much in the condition of your hands, but rather the condition of your heart. He wants us to be inside all Christians. Yet, it's important to wash your hands. But he desired, my dear friends, clean hands. James, in writing to the folks, in chapter 1 and verse 27, here what he speaks about. He speaks about what is true religion. Eh? 
he writes, religion that is pure and undefined before God. Not before man, before God and the Father, is this. To care for the orphans and the widows in their distress. To keep oneself unstained by the world. Now, we would know many orphans who would be doing quite well in life. We know of many widows, persons whose husbands would have died, and we say, and they are doing quite well. But in the time of Jesus, orphans and widows, it was like as if they were cursed. Nobody really took care of them. You had no owner. And of course, the women, they did not work outside of the home. Not that they didn't work. They did not work outside the home. The man was the breadwinner. And when, they, when their partners died, when their husbands died, well, <coughs> somebody had to take pity on them. And Jesus placed them in a very special category. He said, listen, take care of them. They are the persons who are most likely to fall through the cracks. We today, my dear friends, have to figure out who are the persons in our society who are most vulnerable. He said, religion that is pure and undefiled before God, the Father is this, to care for the orphans and the widows in their distress and to keep oneself unstained by the world. He did not say you're not to live in the world. Remember, we live in the world, but our citizenship is in, in heaven. In other words, he says, it consists in putting the word of God into practice. A word of love. How can you say, I love the Lord, when you despise who you haven't seen, and despise your own brother and sister who is before you every day. He says this one, it is a gift from God from whom all blessings flow. Now, you think about it, my dear friends. When we are blessed, it's really we are blessed to bless others. It's not a bless and keep. We are, when we are blessed, it is really to bless others. Here's the challenge I, as I see. We have to seek to be inside out Christians. That means we have to put away all falsehood and embrace the truth about Jesus Christ and His will. We will suffer because we believe in Jesus Christ. That is part of the cross. When you believe in Jesus Christ, and follow in his way, my dear friends. You and I will suffer. The promotion that we are supposed to get, we will not get it because we stand up, stand up for the truth and we tell our employer, our supervisor, what you are doing is wrong and I cannot condone it and I will not do what you ask me to do because it is wrong. And you'll say, okay, so that is what we want to play. Well, you know what? Remember that you're supposed to get a managerial position? Well, I give it to somebody who knows how to play the game. Because of your stance in Jesus, my dear friends, the things that you believe that you should get, you will not get. Guess what? That is all right. Because our reward, our reward is with the Lord of God in heaven. I don't know if anybody ever watched that show. The higher they come. Yes? No, but that's all. Jimmy Cliff. Yeah, Jimmy Cliff, the higher they come. When the preacher was telling him that, you know, take your time. Your reward is in heaven. He said, no, I want what is mine. No, I can't wait. But then what happened eventually, my dear friends? He stood up in front of the policemen and he was listening to the remembering a, a television, a, a western that he saw. They say that the star kind of died. And guess what? He was shot with about 16 bullets. 
because he said, I don't want to wait. I want what is mine now. But as followers of Jesus Christ, we have to learn to wait. They that wait upon the Lord shall be their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall go on a faith. Teach us, Lord, how to wait. The other thing we have to do, my dear friends, is to return, we have to return to God. When we turn to God, it means that we have to abandon greed, selfishness, bitterness, envy, and strife. We cannot hold on to Jesus in one hand and hold on to the world in the other hand. We have to decide to whom we belong and whose we are. And don't see that nursery rhyme again. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king of horses and all the king's men could put Humpty Dumpty back together again. But you know why he fell in and broke into many pieces? He was sitting on the wall. My dear brothers and sisters, we cannot sit on the wall. We are either for Jesus Christ or we are against Him. So, we have to abandon greed and selfishness. We have to abandon envy and strife and unforgiveness. Let us not, my dear friends, wait until it's too late before we embrace our brothers and sisters who have sinned against us. In a congregation in Jamaica, there was a lady who said, Reverend Sam always threw the word at her. What you see. Why she said that? Because just before the communion, just after the offering, just before the communion, you notice if your brother and sister has sinned against you, you go and make it right. Now, I didn't know that the lady had trouble with another member over many years. I really didn't know. And the, 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 the member did tell him, but when someone said, you know, you know what's going on between you and sister so and so, this is part of the Bible. Matthew chapter 5, verses 23 and 24. He said, all he's doing is just, and that is part of the liturgy. So my dear friends, I don't throw a word at you. At least not from the point. If I have something to tell you, I will come and I will mention it to you. But we have to let go those things that keep us back from forming a relation, a proper relationship with Jesus Christ and a relationship with each other. You know there's something I realize, my dear friends? The world, they will curse the church. The world will curse the church. But guess what? The world is looking to the church to set standards. Eh? They will ask, what is the church doing? But my dear friends, with one eye they say, they are looking to the church to set standards. And so my dear friends, when we say we belong to Christ and we do something that goes against Christ, you know what person will say? And they, the other Christians you know, but they will say, and they call themselves Christian. The world is looking at us. And the thing about it, the world needs persons of honor and integrity. Where more than likely would you find persons of honor and integrity? It is supposed to be among Christ, people, my dear friends. So when they hear us fighting among ourselves, when they hear us bad mouthing each other, they will say, wait, if they're doing that into their brothers and sisters who belong to the children, then what will they do to me? Also, what was Jesus' word for woman he met at the well of Simon? otherwise known as Jacob's well. She had five husbands, and the person that she was living with was not even her husband. In John chapter 4 and verse 23, Jesus said, But the hour is coming, and now is, when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeks such as these to worship Him. For God is spirit, and those who worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. It doesn't matter what you would have done. 
it doesn't matter how your life is at this particular point in time. Jesus can fix you. Amen. Jesus, my dear friends, can deliver you from whatever you are seeing, whatever is unbugging you from having that relationship with him. The thing about it, you know, and the temptation is, and the lies, you can fix yourself. You can't fix yourself. You might be saying, but Lord, my life is so broken. Look at my life, it is so filthy. How can I ever come to you? You know what Jesus said? Come anyway. Come just as you are. So friends, who are we to judge? Who are we to say, you are to come in, but you are not to come in? Jesus looks at the heart. And you know what might surprise us, my dear friends? We'd be very surprised. If we ever make it to heaven, you know what the surprise us? The persons that we said to ourselves could never make it, we will find them there ready to meet us. <coughs> so be careful how we judge. If we are inside all Christians, we will not judge at all. We will leave everything in the hands and the judgment of Jesus Christ. See what Jesus Christ said? He said, you know, in Matthew, in Matthew chapter 7, he said, that everybody who says, Lord, Lord, will enter into the kingdom of heaven. You know? He said, on that day, he will gather everybody, the nations of the world, and those who come before him and say, Lord, did we not cast out demons in your name? Did we not do great deeds of power in your name? Yeah. And the king will say, Depart from me, I know you not. You workers of iniquity. But my friends, they, we would have been impressed by the kind of power they display. We would have been just impressed by their friends by the kind of spiritual gift that they possess. And yet, Jesus is saying, Depart, I know you not. You workers of iniquity. Let us, my dear friends, be inside out Christians. May God bless us, even as we continue to live this life of faith. Pressing on. Things, times are difficult. Do not know what will happen with the workers of Petrochrin. You find me, the Petrochrin, you find me in point of care. But you know what? God is on it. Lord. And when we feel that there is no way, certainly He will be our way.
God? Who else? Or what else can we desire beside you? Wow, Lord. Lord of our hearts and minds and souls, you know everything about us and love us still. In you and through you, everything that it is finds its original bone. You embrace all that exists and care for us with divine compassion. Why then, O oh God, do we keep expecting to find happiness and satisfaction apart from you? Why do we keep hesitating to surrender ourselves totally to you? Why, O oh Lord God, when we say all to Jesus, I surrender, we are saying it tongue in cheek. Help us, Lord, to die to all sins. Enable us by the light of your Spirit to see the world in the right way. This world, O oh God, is passing. But your word shall never pass. Amen. You reside in a kingdom whose walls are not built with hands eternal in the heavens. God, may all our thoughts, may all our words, may all our actions, may they become a hymn of praise to you. And so, Lord God, continue to mold us. Continue, Lord God, to fill us. Continue, Lord God, to use us as you see fit. Our souls say yes, Lord, yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Let us declare what we believe about God the Father, God the Son as we affirm our faith, as we repeat the words of the Nicene Creed.
And he also said that he will give us much more. But we have to be obedient to God's word. Because I also remember my mother telling my father, he used to travel every month to go to the States. And she said to him, you know what? Try and see if you can buy the To see if you can buy the and then they finish from home. And he was, or as she was obedient to the Holy Spirit, and she told him, so he was obedient unto her. And he bought that thing. And I stand today saying, praise God from whom all blessings flow. Because that grace carried us through school. That grace provided for us even up to the day. That grace made people in CC call me your king. Because I shun as the bride as if you not going to do anything. God gives you the increase and much more. We have to put our trust in it, and I thank God this morning. I thank God that He's our provider, He's our protector, and He's our all in all. Yeah. Good morning again, brothers and sisters in Christ. Good morning. Thank you, Suzette, for that testimony. I think it is a tiny one. You know, and, and let us continue despite all what we are experiencing to praise God and to you know, never give up. Right? Let's have him on the inside. Not on the outside, but on the inside. And then I would like to um, welcome all who are here with us this morning. You know, to the visitors, our well wishers. I see. Brother Brian is in the house this morning. Welcome, Brian. Yes, good to have you. Here you are, my thoughts all week. And here you are this morning. So, your, your prayers are with you and with anyone who either presently working at Petro Train or who were previously employed at Petro Train. Because not just Petro Train present, Petro Train workers who could be affected. Yeah? But those who were employed and so on, because there are a whole lot of issues surrounding pensions and so on. So let's remember that. that we, let's wait on the Prime Minister's uh, report tonight and we will get a clear idea as to what is happening. Okay, and Sister Kwame, good to have you back in the house. I was asking for you this morning only to realize that you are still past, you know, but I was saying I didn't see so good to have you back. And all those members who were on vacation, I see some faces, I know they, they, they were all very conscious, there was some vacation in. So it's good to have you all with us this morning. I was like to say welcome to Reverend Sam, a college or pastor and our superintendent minister for bringing that timely message to us. We will continue to bless you Reverend Sam. You and your family, and we also inspire you to lead us in the way that He would want us to go. Thanks and appreciation to those who clean the sanctuary, the musicians, um, the audiovisual team, to those who read the spoken word, Andrea and, and, and Katie. Thanks for volunteering to read the word this morning, and to all. Those who are experiencing this worship experience. I also want to say a special thanks to, to Sister Pat Clark and Adola for you know holding the fort last week when we when we weren't there. So thank you and for standing up in the standing in the gap. And, and to all the wonderful people who have made this experience what it is, this worship experience, I just want to say thank you. Good days and anniversaries. Is there anyone celebrating a good day this week? Sister Lynette. <coughs> Let's turn so that we can figure out. Good uh, uh, Anyone else? Andrea also. Great.
Jackson, uh, Mary Brown, and Floyd Green to D. Any on your ministries? I'm going to say right down on the ministry. You have genius and human stuff. Yes. Wow. Very good to do this one. Genius and he's and he said that he's so splendid. It's a standard. Let's go and see this morning. I see you this morning. Come on, come on, come on. We can't see this morning. We have to just as you can. Ready? Savior. So we thank you for their rebirth. 
So continue to bless, keep on directing. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Great.
en début de l'été septembre, et de Saint-Paul en Ukraine, qui est en Harris Communal, puis que ça a pris de l'autre, comme de Saint-Paul en Ukraine, qui est en Fris, et de Saint-Baptiste en Ukraine, qui est en Ukraine, qui est en Ukraine, pour les membres de la parish, qui est en train de nous soutenir dans cette venture. Le prix est à 150 dollars, si vous voulez dire plus de ce qu'on a dit. Ce sont les notices que j'ai eu pour aujourd'hui et la semaine. Pour que nous continuions à nous soutenir l'un de l'autre, nous allons continuer dans le Christ. Nous avons un bon temps et une offre.
is your faithfulness. After each petition, I pray, Lord, help us. Your response would be, Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us pray. Gracious God, we pray for the church in the world. May the church continue to spread the good news of the gospel of your son Jesus Christ. May your word go throughout the world and shine in the darkness. May the church be the seasoning, the salt of the regions. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. We think about the peoples of the world. Father, we think about the peoples of this world that you have created. Father, we are living in a crazy world. A world, oh Lord God, that is filled with power, hungry men and women. But God, enter into their hearts and show them who is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. May the leaders, O oh Lord God, be inspired to lead with a sense of justice and compassion and humility. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. Coming closer home, the region, and especially the Republic of Trinidad at the big. Father, we present to you this nation, the nation of Trinidad and Tobago. We present to you, Lord God, the various situations that face us, spiraling crime, out of control with the wave uncertainty about the industrial relations, anxiety about the economy. The Father, you are greater than all our anxieties. Thank you, Lord God, for reminding us to your system, to our flower system, that you never leave us nor forsake us. And that you are able to supply more than we can ever imagine, think. And so, Lord God, into your hands you commit this country, and you commit the leaders. Follow me, the president. Keep the prime minister, Hamlet, the leader of the opposition. We pray, O oh Lord God, that the parties under the respective leadership will be able to speak together across the divide and come up with a plan as to what is best for the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago at this particular point in time. Allow them to repeat the mantra, united we stand, divided we fall. Father, within the board camps, there are excellent ideas, criminal code, and you'll be the meeting of minds. So, Father, we pray that leaders and all those who have any kind of responsibility among us will lead with a sense of wisdom, understanding, that spirit of discernment, honesty and integrity. Lord, hear us. Lord, we hear us. Father, we pray for the leaders of the church, the MCC, the Correctional Bishop, Reverend Everell Dalvey. We pray, O oh Lord God, for the eight district presidents who are in four bishops. Father, we pray especially for those who have been recently inducted as bishops. We pray for Christy of Jamaica. We pray for Moses, her husband of Bailey Sanduras. We pray, O oh God, for one of Costa Rica, Panama. We pray, O oh Lord God, for our own Derek in the South Caribbean district. Father, we do their mind their spirit. Give them, O oh Lord God, a heart of Daniel. Give them, O oh Lord God, the courage of Paul. Give them, O oh Lord God, the, the humility of John and the compassion of Jesus. Amen. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. Father, we pray for you. Father, and children and young Father, we pray, Lord God, that you will be the right type of examples for them. 
for fighting with role models of the Lord God that will help them navigate this world where so many competing voices seem to get and grab their attention. May they, O Lord God, like Samuel, be taught to listen to the voice of your Son, Jesus Christ. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray, O Lord God, for our institutions of learning, especially the schools under the perfume of this city. San Fernando Methodist Primary School, Princess Stock Methodist Primary School, and Wesley Tree School. We bring the teachers to you. Father, this is the, the term, O Lord God, as we begin a new school year. We ask the Lord that you bless them and give them courage and the strength and the grace to ensure that the children under their charge excel, fulfill, and even surpass their potential. We pray, O Lord God, for the children pupils and the students, we ask that you have mercy in them. We pray especially, O Lord God, for those who are going into various educational institutions for the first time, for those who are going into preschool, for those who are going into primary school, into secondary school, into colleges and universities. We pray, O Lord God, that they will go with a sense of wonder and anticipation, and they will make the best use of their time. Lord, hear us. Lord, Father, we pray for our families. Father, the situation that is facing this country will put some families under extreme stress and pressure. But Father, we pray that the family instead, families instead of being pulled apart and drawn closer together, because they would know that a family that prays together stays together and with you in their vessel, they can smile at the storm. So, Lord God, if there is hope, if there are any families that are breaking up because their parents no longer love each other, we pray that you will kindle that love. Pray, oh God, that parents will know how these things affect their children. And Father will see with you first, then their children. Lord, hear us. Lord, and so, Lord God, we pray for the industrial climate. Father, may employers and employees get together. May the trade unions, O Lord God, be the labor movement in a way that is beneficial to everyone that is helpful. But may employers be fair to their employees. Fair days work for fair days work. So, Father, let that be the philosophy that drives the whole discussion. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. Father, there are many persons who have seemed to have fallen away from this fellowship. Gracious God, may we not give up on them, because you never give up on us, you never give up on them. May we seek them until they are found, and restore them to the fold with rejoicing. For those who are sick, O Lord God, we ask that you would bring them healing and help. For those, O Lord God, who are bereaved, we ask, O Lord God, that you will come alongside them, be their advocate and comfort. And so, Lord God, we ask that you will just help us to be ministers of reconciliation and ministers of hope. Lord, hear us. In the silence of this moment, let us make our own personal petitions to our mind.
find it even more difficult than us to make two ends meet. Rather, multiply what we have given so that we can meet a need. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. I'm not throwing wood at anyone. But if you're offering a gift upon the earth, and then remember that a brother or sister has sinned against you, Jesus commands that we go and we reconcile with our brother or our sister, and then come to offer our gifts. So in that spirit of love, understanding, compassion, and forgiveness, let us exchange with each other the right hand of peace. Peace of the Lord be with you.
You raised him up from the dead and you exalted him to the glory of your right hand. Where he reigns forever as priest and king and makes intercession for us. In witness of his glory and honor, you poured out to the Holy Spirit, building up many people into one body, making us living members of the Holy Church and enabling us to stand before you to sing your praises and celebrate your mighty acts. Therefore, angels and angels and with all the company of heaven, we join in heaven for everlasting praise. We stand and we proclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed are you, Lord God, King of the universe, and blessed is your Son, Jesus Christ, for the night in which he was betrayed, to bring into his holy hands. And looking up to heaven, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take a leap. This is my body given for you. Do this remembrance of me. And the same after the supper, he took the cup. Gave thanks, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and drink all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. Christ is died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Therefore, Father, in obedience to his command, we do this in remembrance of him. Pray that you accept our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, guided by the power of the Holy Spirit. We receive your gifts of bread and wine, we share in the body and blood of Christ and become united with him. And as we offer ourselves to you as a living sacrifice, we pray that you will bring us with your whole creation to a heavenly kingdom. This we pray through Jesus Christ. To whom with you, O Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, be all honor and glory from all who dwell on earth and heaven, throughout the ages and ages. Amen. The sharing in the body of Christ. Amen. The cup of blessing that we bless is the sharing in the blood of Christ. Go to the belly in your own body because you share the woman and her day of the same drink. Let us offer a prayer of humble access together. Lord, we come to your name, trusting in your mercy and not in the goodness of our own. We are not worthy of the gathered crops of under your people, but as your nature always to have mercy and of that we bear.
gracious God. In your hands we commit each other. We commit especially our teachers. We pray, Lord God, that you bless them and have a wonderful term, O Lord God. A term where they inspire their children to give of their best. Bless us now as we go away. Help us, O Lord God, to walk and dance through the raindrops. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Now we go to peace dwell again from the dead. Our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep with the blood of the eternal covenant, make him perfect in every good thing, working his will, working in us that which is well pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, who will be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The, God, the peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit rest with and abide with us all, now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.